Some people get knocked down by tragedy and courageously stand up again. But there are some who not only courageously stand up again themselves, but help pull others back to their feet too. That's exactly what one local woman does. So what does she do and why does she do it? The answers as we go along the way. Denise Rossum and her husband Larry are happily married and have been for 15 years. Their love is clear, even at first glance. Photographs show a twinkle in their eyes and a multitude of shared experiences, from fishing in Alaska to soaking up the sunshine and everything in between. They were married in 2001, but this is a second chance, in a sense, for Denise. You see, she became a widow at just 35 years old. Her late husband, Gene, suffered complications from an organ transplant, passing away in 1996. Eventually, the artery where that new pancreas was attached ruptured, and he he bled to death um, two months to the day after he had the, had the transplant. Denise knows very well the pain of losing a spouse. A person goes through with such a wide range of, of emotions. You're angry, you're sad, you're, um, you can't believe this has happened to you. You feel like you might be the only person in the world that this has happened to. A couple years later, she joined the board of a local group few have ever heard of, unless you've lost a spouse. For the past eight years, she's been running the group. I was widowed in um, 2004. My wife of uh, 27 years, we were high school sweethearts, and she died of cancer, um, died of lung cancer back in 2004 um, at age 47. It's been a dozen years since his late wife Jan passed away. Mike is not only an owner of Steck Advertising, he's also a board member of the Widowed Person Service. All the things that you were going to do, like I said, are you can't, they're gone, but you do find a new normal. And that's what this group does, is to, it helps you heal and to help you find your new normal. Mike is now remarried too. He and his wife Amy have been happily married for about a decade. So what does the Widowed Person Service do? Too much to list here, including a class on grief and loss, regular social events and meetings, along with Saturday morning coffees, and far, far more. The friendships that grow within the organization, I think, are probably 80% of the healing. Because you meet new people, you have people that understand what you've been through. Denise says their group has had people as young as 21 and as old as 90. There is hope and there is healing and they, they need to know that. They need to know that they're going to recover from this loss and be able to move forward and have a good, happy life. Which brings us back to her husband, Larry. He is a widower, too. His late wife went in for gallbladder surgery. He said that... Uh, they didn't take the gallbladder out, that she was full of cancer and it was very far advanced. And then it was th three months later when she passed away on July 1st, uh, 1998. His wife, Noni, was just 40 years old. You know, I still think about Noni probably just about every day, but it's, it's more of in a good way now. I mean, she's, you know, we didn't want her to go, but she did. And now I've met Denise and definitely moved on. And Larry is happy again. Denise is happy again. And so are so many others. And for all her work leading this group, she says she doesn't get paid a penny. There's probably a special place in heaven for her. It's an all-volunteer uh, position, but the reward is seeing people get healed and moving forward in their life. And she, Larry, and Mike are three prime examples that indeed there is hope, healing, and happiness, even after losing a spouse. If you've met someone cool along the way, please call or email us to let us know as a nonprofit. One of their major fundraisers is actually working the souvenir shop at Rush Games. Oh. She said that they have worked every home game since the Rush arrived in Rapid City.